Hello, I'm Professor Stephen Nesheva, and I'm here to help you out with uh, how to choose a topic to flip. So, uh, how to choose, I'm, uh, what I'm going to recommend is that you divide this process into, into two parts. Part one will be just identifying the problem to solve, and then part two will be actually solving it. Those are two steps, part one and part two. In part one, what you'll uh, can do is you can apply a set of criteria, and I've uh, identified a few criteria for you that you can use that will help you decide whether this is a good problem. Uh, one of them is the raw intellectual merit. I'm borrowing the language of National Science Foundation in the United States for this. What is the actual intellectual merit of the task uh, that you've set before yourself? Uh, if this is uh, carbonate chemistry, for example, if uh, the raw intellectual merit is really, can you predict the pH of ocean water based on, you know, solving some chemical equations having to do with carbonates? Second is the broader impacts, okay? This is criterion number two. What are the broader impacts of this? Because after all, uh, 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 problems are really only interesting if actually uh, once you solve them, they have some consequence. In the case of carbonate chemistry, uh, it's clear that if you're able to predict the pH of seawater based on how much carbon dioxide is in the air, then that gives you some predictive leverage. You'll be able to predict what the consequences of increased carbon dioxide in the, in the air are. So that's broader impact, criterion number two. Criterion number three, um, this is integrated, uh, it's a question of integrated on the way in. That is to say, what skills are required on the part of the student uh, in order to actually solve this problem. Do they need to be able to solve, uh, write down or balance a chemical equation, for example, or do they have to have some uh, rudimentary knowledge of, of algebra? So that's uh, the uh, integrating on the way in criterion. Criterion four is integrating on the way out, that is to say, uh, to what extent do uh, the skills that students will acquire in this project uh, to what extent does that further the objectives uh, of the course? In this case, the, for the carbonate chemistry, if you're able to make predictions based on chemistry, well, we call that uh, a pretty good and fundamental skill of chemistry. Finally, uh, the fifth criterion is, is it the right scope? Is, does this problem that you've dreamed up of, does it have the right scope? Is it, is it, is it, is it hard enough or is it, or is it maybe too hard? So. Um, how do you find these problems? Well, there's lots of different ways. This is sort of the art of flipping, how to find these problems. I can just offer a couple of possibilities for you. Uh, one of them might be uh, in, 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 your, in your text that there are problems at the end of the chapter that are called integrated problems. Those are usually a little harder than other problems and they already have the integration built, built into them. Another possibility is to um, consult your own lecture notes or your own PowerPoint presentation. You might find uh, that there was a, a day that you spent or a concept that you, you worked on and that you delivered a lecture of, but perhaps you, you had a feeling that uh, students would only really get that idea if they actually grappled with it themselves. And then uh, maybe, maybe a third possibility of where these, these ideas come from is from research. Uh, maybe, maybe you've engaged in questions in your research. And after all, research is all about identifying interesting questions and, and providing solutions to them. So that's part one. It's all about identifying the question and seeing whether uh, it satisfies these, these five criteria. Second part, I won't have that much to say about because it's actually answering the question. Uh, part two is answering the question in a kind of self-conscious way in, in such that uh, as you're answering the question, you're thinking about uh, whether uh, uh, what sort of strategies you needed to apply so that when students encounter the similar difficulties, you'll be able to, you know, to help them out. So that's part one, part two. And, um, and uh, there we are. Okay.